We brought an amazing video. Watch till the end, we have a surprise for you at the end of the video. Let's start. This is a representation of the Earth, showing the seven continents. These include Asia, Australia, North and South America, Africa, Europe, and Antarctica. However, this has not always been the case. Approximately 300 million years ago, the Earth did not have seven separate continents. Rather, it had a significant supercontinent known as Pangaea, which was surrounded by a single ocean called Hathalassa. During the Triassic period, Pangaea was the only continent on Earth. Eventually, it began to break apart and divide into two new continents known as Laurasia and Gondwanaland. Over time, Laurasia migrated north and broke off into Europe, Asia, and North America, while Gondwanaland divided into South America, Africa, Australia, the Indian subcontinent, and the Arabian Peninsula, which together make up nearly two-thirds of the modern continent. It is important to note that Gondwanaland also divided into another portion that was submerged under the ocean and took researchers 375 years to find, becoming the world's eighth continent. In 1642, Abel Tasman was on a mission to find a massive continent in the southern hemisphere that Europeans believed existed, which they named Terra Australis. Tasman departed from Jakarta and sailed west, south, then east, until arriving at the South Island of New Zealand. However, his expedition was not successful, and he gave up on finding the new continent, returning home without ever setting foot on it. It was later revealed that Tasman had, in fact, been correct all along as there was a continent missing. When geologists discovered Zealandia, it made headlines, as it is roughly six times the size of Madagascar and spans 1.89 million square miles, 4.9 million square kilometers. Despite previous beliefs that there are only seven continents, Zealandia is now recognized as the world's eighth continent, which is the smallest, thinnest, and youngest of them all. It is still a mystery, with its secrets hidden beneath 6,560 feet, two kilometers of water. The disclosure of one of the largest marine areas in the world occurred when the continent, along with Lord Howe Island and Ball's Pyramid, two minor Australian territories, as well as the French colony of New Caledonia, known for its stunning legumes, were finally unveiled to the globe. An 18th century explorer claimed that New Caledonia appeared no larger than a canoe. Zealandia was a constituent part of Gondwana, a supercontinent that once covered the entirety of the Southern Hemisphere and originated around 550 million years ago. It bordered a number of other countries, including the entirety of Eastern Australia and half of West Antarctica. Roughly 105 million years ago, experts claimed that Zealandia began to be pulled apart due to a process that remains incompletely understood. In contrast to oceanic crust, which is generally around 10 kilometers thick, continental crust is usually about 40 kilometers deep. The tension caused Zealandia to become so stretched that its crust is now barely 20 kilometers, 12.4 miles deep. Despite being thin and submerged, geologists classify it as a continent due to the kinds of rocks that can be found there, including granite, schist, and limestone, which are common examples of igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary rocks found in the continental crust, whereas basalt is more typically found on the ocean floor. Nonetheless, many uncertainties about the eighth continent remain particularly concerning how it managed to maintain its integrity despite being so thin and avoiding breaking up into numerous small microcontinents. Other unsolved questions include when exactly Zealandia became submerged and whether dry land ever existed there. The remains of several fossilized land animals, including a giant long-tailed long-necked dinosaur, a sauropod, a beaky herbivorous dinosaur, a hypsilophodont, and an armed dinosaur, an ankylosaur, were discovered in New Zealand in the 1990s. Land animals were rare in the Southern Hemisphere, but the remains of these animals may be scattered across the rocks of Zealandia's ridges, which were created when the Australian and Pacific tectonic plates collided. Rupert Sutherland, 
a professor of geophysics and tectonics at Victoria University of Wellington, argues that there is a long-standing argument about whether it is feasible to have land animals without continuous land and whether they would have survived without it. The kiwi, a clumsy flightless bird with whiskers and feathers that resemble hair, was one of New Zealand's most peculiar and beloved residents. Oddly, its closest relative is not thought to be the mole, which belonged to the same group as ratites and lived on the same island until it went extinct 500 years ago. Scientists no longer believe that the mole, an extinct flightless bird native to New Zealand, is closely related to the ostrich as previously thought. Instead, they now believe that the moa's closest relative is the elephant bird, which was even larger and roamed Madagascar's forests until 800 years ago. Both birds are thought to have descended from a single ancestor that lived on Gondwana. Gondwana was a supercontinent that existed around 130 million years ago, and it took 130 million years for it to completely disintegrate. However, it left behind pieces that eventually became South America, Africa, Madagascar, Antarctica, Australia, the Arabian Peninsula, the Indian subcontinent, and Zealandia. Scientists now believe that at least some of Zealandia may have stayed above sea level throughout its history. Although it is impossible to directly gather fossils from Zealandia's seafloor, researchers have started drilling into its depths. Fossils that occur in extremely shallow seas are the most useful and distinctive, and there are zillions and zillions of small, tiny little fossils that are distinctly different, which is why they leave a record. The shape of Zealandia is another unsolved puzzle. There are two features on a geological map of New Zealand that stand out. The Alpine Fault, a plate boundary that runs along the South Island and is so significant that it can be seen from space and the strangely bent geology of the entire continent. The Pacific and Australian tectonic plates collide, dividing both along a horizontal line. The previously continuous ribbons of granite no longer line up and are now practically at right angles. This suggests that the tectonic plates shifted and somehow bent them out of shape, but the precise details of how and when this occurred remain a complete mystery. Exploring a continent like Zealandia is quite challenging, as everything is two kilometers, 1.2 miles, underwater, and the layers that need to be sampled are 500 meters, 1640 feet, below the seabed. Therefore, sending ships out to survey areas simply requires a lot of time, money, and effort. In conclusion, the discovery of Zealandia, the eighth continent in the world, proves that nearly 400 years after Tasman's exploration, there is still much to learn. While many mysteries remain, the existence of this continent offers a unique opportunity for scientists to uncover new knowledge and deepen our understanding of the Earth's history. If you enjoyed the video, never forget to like, comment, and share. And subscribe to the channel and get a chance to win an amazing coffee cup.